welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Raya, and my YouTube channel is Raya underscore home for four. If you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, if you like this type of video that I'm posting today, don't forget to leave a like or comment in the comment box down below if you like this type of videos. So um, today I'm going to actually, um, so you're gonna need to have a counter of as to how many times I say actually in this video. I might give out the prices because I like the word actually. I keep on saying actually in all of the videos, but uh, you you might want to count how many times I say that. But um, today I'm going to show you a little bit of my daughter's room, a mini tour, but mainly this video is for her um, closet transformation. My husband and I, actually it's more of my husband. He works so hard installing the um closet solution or closet system that we bought it is prefabricated so um if you're new and you haven't watched the video where we at, we reinstalled and um remove actually remove all the wire shelvings and then install the new um closet solution you should um i have a link in the description down below so you should watch that so you can you know you might want to find or you might find it helpful if you're thinking of um changing or improving or maximizing your um your own closet or your daughter or your son's closet so I am going to show you now with her clothes already back in the closet. Um, I have been stressing out for the past couple of weeks because I see all her clothes on top of her bed and all the, the stuff that we use to organize and build this closet system are all over the floor. But anyway, it's been so it's been so stressful and gives me a little bit of insight you've seen it in the you'll probably see it in this video the before but um i am so happy that finally everything is organized and i don't know this type of things really makes me excited but um it's just you know it makes me it it gives you that kind of like satisfying feeling that finally it's there it's organized and it's a feel-good space here we are we're done clean organized and decluttered Are the two um, for donation um, bags that we had to donate because they're these are the clothes that she doesn't or my daughter doesn't fit anymore or a lot of things that aren't like um, are that are too tight or um, it's not good anymore so we have we got rid of two bags so I'm getting ready to bring that to the donation center or maybe family and friends would like to have some of these items because they're pretty good some of these things are pretty good but anyway that's my daughter's bedroom she's got her artwork hang up on the or hung up on, on the on the door but um here we go So I cleaned up a little bit, or actually a lot. So if you remember in my um, like previous uh, pictures and videos, a lot of her clothes were piling over here on this um, on her bed, and it was really like a lot of st stressful moments for me because you know it's 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 all cluttered and it's all um, uh, this unorganized, but. This is her bed now. It looks so clean. It looks so organized. But let me back up a little bit. This is the old um, shelving that we removed from her closet before. And now I just put it right over here. So this is kind of like a, a wall when you go inside her room. But I put her, I put this right over here. And there are some stuff, stuff here that she rarely used or she could probably put some like uh, you know that's kind of a bunny toy with their food and you know she can she can still use this shelves over here or shelving unit here where she can put um, some of her toys maybe or maybe when she is um, 
in because she's right now she's in grade school so when she goes um in high school or middle school she'll have more books so she can put more books over here and maybe some uh school stuff that she wanna like put over there but this is her room and over here on the right side she has a a desk where she's supposed to study but she never used this desk because she does her homework downstairs but um that side is just her books and her um toys and her stuffed animals and that chair is for um reading and then there's a night light or a, a light over there and the books is this is the light over here right there and then the books are over there so she can you know read her books if she wants to um and yep and then some of her stuffed animals are over there but um one of the things that i am really excited today is the um closet because this is the the purpose of this video <laughs> so um here we go so if you are new to my youtube channel you should see my two other videos that i've posted the before where we um where we uninstall or we shop the supplies for the um, for the closet system and then we did and I did another video for the um, installation my husband did most of the work he did a great job but anyway this is the shelving unit that we bought over here and that right there now this is a separate item that I bought from Target but it's just a stackable shelving unit so um, I, ha I have I just place it above the the shelving unit over here but anyway let me show you how I organize this one um, so I did extra I put a, a, a wallpaper a peel and stick wallpaper in the back and then I hang uh, that's just a push pin where she you know she hang her uh, tiny backpack there she loves unicorn if you have hadn't noticed that's her big giant unicorn over there and she has so much unicorn over here on over there and over there and she has a unicorn hairbrush yeah and she even has a unicorn sweater but yeah my daughter really loves unicorn one day the unicorns will invade her bedroom <laughs> and then the unicorns will kick her out but anyway i also bought uh like a velvet hangers none none uh it's called non-slip hangers where you you know i want it very like uniform and and skinny and that made actually um save or made uh save space for it because because of the hanger because it's skinny and it looks a lot cleaner because it's it's the same hanger you know what i mean if they weren't the same it would look unorganized and and um cluttered but this is where we put her long dresses over here so these are her long dresses so there is no shelving on the bottom but these are her skirts and below or underneath it is also a box of her um, tank tops if she wants to you know wear um, at this time of the year underneath her sweater but she rarely does that but tank tops um since it's uh fall going to winter at this time of the year here where we live um she rarely used that so that's why i put it underneath but um when it you know when summer or spring comes i'll probably switch it and you know kind of rearrange to whatever we think it's um it's going to be useful or she's going to be using every day so there is that and over there that one there's actually like an extra space over here where we could put some more um storage system or more clothes but right now we don't need that so i kind of like push it over here in the middle so it looks 
um, symmetrical it looks clean actually so this this uh, storage box and the other one over here they're really cute I love it <laughs> I bought this at Walmart but look at that it's gold and white and it's really clean um, so I bought that to store some of the items that she doesn't use every day so it's there like um, actually some of the seasonal items are also there um, like swimsuits shorts um, dr summer dresses and other things but over here these are her pajama sets so she can she's tall enough to reach it so I'm not worried But um, this wire shelving over here, we didn't really remove the, the second shelving because if you watch the old or the before pictures, we only had like, oh, let me flip the camera. Oh, uh, yeah, but we only had like, um, or you haven't seen the before video, um, this is the original shelving, shelving that the builder built for us. And then there was another shelving unit over here in the middle, which is also a wire shelving. It wasn't bad. It was okay, but it's not serving its um, purpose and it's not maximizing its space. That's why we, um, you know, we made a decision to get her, uh, you know, a really good storage solution. Um, anyway... So this one right here is just a regular wrapping paper that I put. Um, yeah, you can see it over here. My re regular wrapping paper that I put um, using a double-sided tape. And then I bought a mirror. Uh, my daughter and I chose this. She likes this mirror. And I hung up a little bit of a cutie bag that she once used in a... Oh, on a on a wedding where, where she was uh, one of the you know flower girls but there's that and then this is one of her unicorn stuffed animal um, I put all her headbands over there and see this is her little unicorn hairbrush <laughs> yeah so I put that there but anyway we'd like for this um, closet to be um hers to be her forever closet um like it can accommodate her uh future stuff like when she grows and she'll have lipstick and and makeup if she wants to do that that's fine with us but this is the drawer where she could possibly put it in so right now this is the first drawer um, like I said, she when she grows up and she she's going to be into like makeup and stuff like that and, and you know, uh, accessories. She can use this drawer to put her things. But right now, these are her, her only like, you know, earrings or, or I mean necklaces that she has. There's probably some some more over there in the shelving, but I haven't moved it yet. But yep, there's an extra hairbrush there and a little headband. But the second drawer has her undies. So, right there. So, I just put, um, I just use an old box and uh, wrap it with, um, like a white peel and stick, uh, wallpaper or, um, well, not wallpaper. They're called, um, uh, contact contact paper the white peel and stick contact paper that i bought for five dollars and it's really useful because you just use an old box and just wrap your box so it looks clean and it's and it's um and it, it, it and it like it contains it it's organized and it it's good so i tried to teach my daughter how to put this thing back and she's been pretty good folding her clothes so i'm hoping she can maintain this but 
um, either way, I keep on, I'll keep on reminding her and um, teaching her. And this third drawer, so the first two drawers are, um, I think they're five inches, five inches deep. And then the next one is 10 inches deep. Yeah, so the third one is one of the um, 10 inches deep. But So the first one, these are her jeans. And then the next um, space are, you know, this is where we put her leggings. Um, she has a lot of leggings, um, especially in the fall and winter. Um, she she likes wearing, or I let her wear legging, leggings and then a dress or a sweater um, as her top. And these are some of her joggers and some leggings, some more leggings. So, um, like I said, I just use, um, I recycled one of the boxes um, of the shelving units that I installed here and then just wrap it with a with a white contact paper right there that's just um, wrapped white contact paper you could actually buy um, a shelf divider but for me I didn't want to buy it yet because uh, we've we have spent a little bit of money already for this whole thing the shelving unit the hangers and the other storage systems and um, and I thought if I could just use an old box for now and then I taped it with a um, masking tape so that it's it stays there and it doesn't move and and for now it's serving its um, purpose so um, who knows I'm gonna buy um, sh shelf or drawer divider in the future they're available at Amazon if you want to buy it I'll put the link in the description down below But the bottom drawer, these are still, so you can see over there, I I, I put, um, what do you call that, masking tape to hold these dividers in here. Because these are just like old boxes that I, that I wrapped with white contact paper to keep it like clean. And these are, you know, her sweaters some of her sweaters and there's actually more space over there for more sweaters but i don't think we're gonna need more because she has more than enough but there's that and then over there are more like sweaters that i didn't want to um put over here in the bottom drawer because i don't want to like over over stuff it because i don't want it to break but there's more um sweaters over here and then her you know um, party shoes but she might grow what outgrow that soon and also this one is one of the things that makes me feel good like just just by looking at this like you see how they're arranged by color and these are the the house clothes and these are more dressy type of t-shirts but these are her t-shirts I didn't put it in a in a box because I want her or we want to like see it because if you put it in a bin like this you won't see what's in the bottom and I don't think that's going to maximize the space over here if you keep on like uh, pulling the drawer or this type of box out so I I kept it like that just just like that so that we also see if it's not organized you can easily see it and we'll start organizing it so i'm hoping that my da daughter will be able to maintain um how i organize this closet but um yeah i'll continue on teaching her until she'll you know she'll she'll get it and she'll learn because it really is important <music>
over here are her socks so um this one is actually meant to be put underneath like at the bottom of the of this container but i use it as a divider because i want to like divide the the box because these are long socks and the others are just regular um like short socks and these are like knee high socks and some of these are are for soccer maybe but um since it's not soccer season we i put some of those underneath it but um she'll probably need more um of the socks that are in this side than in this side at this time of the year and finally um over here are just her um like sweaters and some oh uh, yeah they're most mostly sweaters that um that i just hang over here because the material is difficult to fold and it it's not practical to put it in the drawer because it's not gonna stay um, so I hang it and like I said the the hangers make such a big difference because it really does save space so imagine there's like uh, let's see two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen there are sixteen items here that are being you know that are hanging but it doesn't look like there's a lot but you know um, I don't know with you guys but I love the uniform hangers it makes a, such a big difference. So, um, yeah, there's that. So I hope you guys like it. Um, this is my daughter's closet. So I hope you guys like today's video. If you like this type of video, um, don't forget to leave a comment that you like it. If you didn't like it or if you have um, some suggestions as to what type of videos you want me to make um, next time, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. and. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.